PlayStation has taken over my life. I don't play on my Nintendo Switch anymore, at least not for the past two months. Maybe I've been looking into like the sales or the eShop, you know, occasionally. But I am all about PlayStation right now. And I'm gonna tell you all of the games that I've been playing lately. Maybe some of them are for you. So I will be talking about these games and let you know if they are worth picking up or not. And I started Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, review coded, thank you. And when I made my video, about upcoming games for 2024. Most people in the comment section were like, you didn't mention Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Well, um, I jumped off the Final Fantasy hype train a long time ago. Long time ago. Like, I played Final Fantasy up until Final Fantasy VI and then I jumped ship. Been dipping into 10 and 14 sometimes, you know, loved 14, the MMO. Anyways, I'm now trying to jump back into the Final Fantasy hype and the hype is real. Okay, so some quick first impressions of the game. It is an RPG game where you have uh, party members and it's very story heavy and the cutscene they look incredible. The art style of the characters, it's like anime style but with the realism. It's kind of weird sometimes. <laughs> kind of puts me off sometimes, the art style. A bunch of people on my Discord is so hyped about this game and already like, I talked with Raimon yesterday, he likes the game already and he described it like it's not an open world game but it's open, whoops. <laughs> It's open zoned. And he said that he likes to complete each zone before progressing to the next one. And so far, the story has some shocking moments already in the opening hours of the game. I can tell you that much. It's kind of like a stereotypical JRPG where it starts out sort of calm and then hell breaks loose. So for me, since I have not played Seven, the original, or the remake of Seven, I don't know the characters. So my perspective is that I am jumping into Rebirth, which is kind of confusing. It's like 7-2. Uh, it's a continuation of, as far as I know, uh, a continuation of the story from 7. I know nothing. I am getting to know the characters, but I have a feeling, sitting there playing, I'm, I'm having this feeling that this would have been more impactful on me if I already knew the characters from, let's say, 7 Remake. If I had played that before I started Rebirth, I think, and I have a feeling that it would make more sense to me. But it's not absolutely game-breaking for me that I don't know the characters because I am kind of getting to know them now. But I don't know their history. There is a summary video in the start of the game, like the story so far, and like I got the general gist of the world is in trouble and there is this Maku, the power of the earth is extracted, humanity is taking advantage of the earth, it's a whole thing. Now gameplay-wise it's very traditional JRPG. You have control over what you are equipping your characters with. The combat is not turn-based, it's action-based, which I prefer. And so far the combat is really smooth and I like to mix up my moves, do some skills, do some magic. Also the couple's attacks. It's a fun like dance of combat, so that is really good. I can see why people love this game already. I will be playing it more, definitely. So far it is looking good and this city, I'm gonna show you some gameplay of this city, town, place. Really beautiful that I've gotten to. Graphics looks good and I am playing on my portal and also on a new monitor that I have upstairs. Love it. So that is one game that I've been playing very recently. Now Helldivers 2. Code provided by PlayStation. Thank you so much. Now this is a co-op shooter and I am playing it on the PlayStation 5. Really popular right now. You've probably heard about it. You're probably playing it also. I don't know. But it is out on PS5 and PC with crossplay. So the gameplay loop in Helldivers 2, it consists of being in your ship, which is the hub area you keep going back to in between missions. Here you can change your loadout, your weapons, armor, do some upgrades and then pick a mission and landing spot you want to do from the table and you are shot down from the spaceship down to ground level to do your mission. Sometimes you're alone, sometimes you're not. <laughs> And I very early on noticed that it is best played together with people. This is not a alone game. <laughs> you gotta play this with some people. May that be randoms, may that be some friends of yours, but this is a heavily focused on co-op type of 
game. This game was a pain when I played alone. I was doing matchmaking and I matched up with some randoms and that worked really good. I think also that active communication would be the absolute best. So this is a game if you have like a gang of friends on that you can talk with on Discord or something and play it together with, that's gonna be a good time. My first impression is that I was so confused at first. I was like, what do I do? Where do I go? And I'm dying a lot because it's quite a difficult game. It is also quite strategic as you shouldn't reload your gun all willy-nilly when you reload the remaining bullets in your clip is discarded. So I think the cons of Helldivers 2 so far is that I think I think your character moves kind of slowly. And also I wish there were damage numbers popping up when shooting at enemies. I'm really fond of first person shooters, third person shooters, shooters in general, but I enjoy something as simple as numbers popping up, damage numbers when I am, you know, shooting at enemies. That is not in this game. I have to be honest, it's probably not a game that I will be playing for long. It's a game that I'm playing kind of now, but I will be leaving it pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it is not a Destiny 2 or even a Outriders killer. And after playing like Remnant 2, which I played in December a lot, I want to say that Helldivers 2 ranks lower than all of the aforementioned <laughs> Destiny 2 and Outriders. I like those games more uh, as like a co-op shooter. And I also like Remnant 2 more. So I guess I can also talk a bit on Remnant 2 since I'm mentioning it, I guess. Uh, it is probably a harder game. It is true what they say. Remnant 2 is Elden Ring with guns. And by that, I mean that it's not necessarily a looter shooter. When you come across the guns and gear in general, it's quite rare. And also there are a lot of puzzles that you have to solve in order to progress. It's like a puzzle co-op hard game. Elden Ring with guns, you know. But even still, I had way more fun in Remnant 2 than what I'm having currently in Helldivers 2. <laughs> All of the twos. So I need to mention that uh, if you want to have like a co-op shooter on the PlayStation, Remnant 2 is good. <laughs> it's good. Because the shooting is just so satisfying and you really feel like you're shooting stuff, which I think is really important. The shooting feels amazing in Remnant 2. And also Remnant 2 is like a lot on sale, so I recommend that. Puzzle elements beware though, it has puzzle elements and that's gonna kill the fun sometimes in the game. It will, but it's still addicting. And lastly, I can mention that I have replayed that older game. It's not new, it's not a few years ago it was released. Anyways, I've been replaying the entire campaign from new game to the end again in Outriders on PlayStation. And I'm trying to get like the platinum trophy in it. So I'm sweaty gaming Outriders. But I don't know if I'm gonna get the trophy because uh, the last ones, they're, they're killing me. It is probably my favorite third person shooter on the PS5 currently. Also like favorite third person shooter in recent memory. The story is excellent. It's just my style and the world building was out of this world, literally. I am really close to Platinum. It feels so good, it's really addicting. I've talked about this game before, but you know, I went back to it now because I think this is the year of replaying games. I have a feeling that it's gonna be that. Uh, 2024, the year that we start to replay our games. Maybe. And Outriders is just so satisfying. It's so satisfying to shoot and loot. And this is a looter shooter. You get guns all the time. I'm loving the numbers popping up. The damage numbers, like I mentioned, that I do like. I love that. And I highly recommend it. I have been remote playing it a lot on my portal. And it's so fun to grind for the trophies. So those are the games that I've been playing recently on my PlayStation 5. More specifically, my portal, I guess. Uh, which I think, in my life, has been like a Switch killer, kind of. Anyway. If you like this video, please hit like on it. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love you to subscribe. I would love you. <laughs> I will leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Let me know what you're playing. And also if there are some games on the PS5 that I should check out. Like shooters and stuff. Yeah.